Welcome everyone to Daytona Beach, Florida. This week we're at the Daytona International Speedway for the third round of the 2018 SCARS Super Rallycross season. We have a couple races coming up. We got the East Series here in just a couple minutes. And then in about an hour, we have the West Series running their own uh, race. This is the first time that uh, we are using the iRacing heat system here tonight. So we're looking forward to actually using that just a little bit. So we hope we get a couple more entrants just so we can try out and see how that works. So an update on the point standings in the overall championship. Uh, Finian Takuna leads Brian Zone by 26 points. Andrew Mickey is back 28 from the leader. Kurt Crum 43, Eric Mickey 111 back. And a couple others that just kind of hop in and out. So for the East Series, however, we are going to take a look at the point standings right now. And it looks like Finian Takuna is leading Brian Sohn by one point. So those two drivers are going to have a lot to deal with tonight as they're going to try to battle each other out. They're both present tonight, so that's the, one of the, the first times we've had the, the uh, points leaders together in the same race ready to battle it out. So we are looking forward to this one. Nine seconds left in practice. Then we're going to go for qualifying for a couple minutes, set the order for the heats, and we'll get a couple heat races on. So the looks like tonight, i got to reference my handy-dandy Discord here, uh, we have a three-lap qualifier. Uh, there's five-lap heats with a max field of eight in each heat. And then a consolation, no, or no consolation here tonight. But the feature will be ten laps. And there's only ten drivers allowed in the final race here. So we have, uh, looks like exactly ten entered. So we shouldn't have anybody booted, but we'll see how this goes. So right now let's take a look at Will Salisbury in that number 77 Subaru. New uh, Subaru content here. This week in iRacing, the Season 3 build for 2018, we have the Subaru WRX STI Rallycross machine, and Will Salisbury, Finian DeCuna, and a couple others are also going to be in here in that Rallycross car tonight. Th that will join the, the, excuse me, the Volkswagen Beetle and the uh, Ford Fiesta. That's the one I was looking for, the Ford Fiesta, Volkswagen Beetle, and Subaru WRX STI here today. Look at Will Salisbury working his way over the bumps. He's going to spin out, but... He'll keep it going. So here's Andrew Mickey and his Bombshell Motorsports Fiesta working out for his uh, his outlap for his qualifying effort. And Brian Sohn already working his way towards the start-finish line to begin his lap. So with Finian Nakuna leading the point standings, uh, definitely Finian is, is looking real good already in this season, three races in. But what we have to worry about here tonight is the random factor. We've got a couple drivers in here that are just... This is in the open host section of iRacing, so... Uh, it's open to everybody, so Finian might have some challengers here. And as you watch the times jump on the board, there will Sal or excuse me, Jimmy Fisher is going to jump to the top of the board. Let's take a look at our weather real quick here this evening. As soon as I type in a little something I need to type in, there we go. All right, round three here at Daytona International Speedway. Nine turns here at this rallycross course. 78 degrees in the air, 104 on the track. So a little bit, gonna be a little bit slippery on the pavement here today, especially with these really, really. Uh, soft rallycross tires. Partly cloudy conditions, and it is perfectly still out here. No wind to deal with tonight. Push these cars around. And Finian Dacuna is going to jump to the top of the board with a 42.890, and there he is in his Red Bull Subaru. He's got uh, Razor as a new partner. They'll be coming on with him in the next round, so we'll be excited to see that paint scheme. So you're running over there on the left-hand side of your screen. Dacuna, Salisbury, Fisher, Mickey, Tina, and Sohn. Your top six, a couple others uh, have not made an effort to get out on the racetrack yet. Christian Ose, I don't believe, is going to make it here. He's got something else to worry about. Uh, Nadine Pellegrini out here in that uh, Abado Volkswagen Beetle. Making their way around the track. And just a little, little spin there. But right now, Takuna's got a 1.2 second gap on Will Salisbury. He seems pretty content with that. But there's Salisbury right now. Take a look. Let's ride on board with Salisbury through a lap here. Salisbury missed that that uh, first chicane there, and he's going to have to come to a stop. Uh, Andrew Mickey is done, but Brian Stone's still out here making the left. He's going to pull off, actually. Jimmy Fisher's out here still rolling around. Here he is working his way through the far side of the course. Running the long configuration here this week. See that bump being very violent to the rear of the car as it hops up and over that bump back onto the pavement. Jimmy Fisher going to be P5 in this one as long as nothing changes. Uh, Brett Kunkari out here is running 
or has not set a lap and is nosed into the wall. Looks like pretty hard in that Fiesta. And he'll try again. They got a minute and 27 seconds left in this qualifier. Some sweet drifts by that Clarion Car Audio and Beyond Ford Fiesta. Well, I'm going to take a moment just to thank our sponsors uh, for these broadcasts. We want to thank especially Scars for putting this on for us. Uh, Sparco for being a great partner to us, as, as well as a lot of other sim racers out here. Uh, we also want to thank uh, Penguin RC Simulation, and all the links to those sponsors will be in the description below. All right, so 50 seconds left in qualifying. It looks like there's two drivers left out in the racetrack, the number 19 of Brett Puncari and the 10 of Nadine Pellegrini. But those drivers might not get another chance to put in a lap here if they don't get back to the line, so they'll probably stop and get ready for the first of two heats. So I had a, a cool heat graphic that I was going to use, but didn't really like how it looked, so I bailed on it for this week. So we'll have that set up for the next round. But heat one's coming up here shortly. And Finney and Dakuna is going to be your pole sitter here with a time of a 42.261. So, Will Salisbury actually closed the gap just a little bit, but Dakuna also uh, beat his lap time by a couple more tenths than we thought might uh, might have thought he would. So, Salisbury is going to come in there seven tenths behind, almost eight tenths behind Dakuna. Andrew Mickey, Brian Sohn, Jimmy Fisher, your top five. Qualifying is complete. We're going to head to our first of two heat races. All right, so Finney Dakuna, your pole sitter, he is out on the racetrack right now. Red lights are on, and the green flag goes out, and green flag is in the air here at Daytona. Dakuna gets a great jump on the inside. Andrew Mickey in the middle of all that. Jimmy Fisher's going to run a little wide. And that's Nadine Pellegrini in the number 10. Up and over the jump for the first time. Oh, Pellegrini and Jimmy Fisher are together. Fisher's going to nose into the wall, and he's hard into the barriers. And Pellegrini's also caught up in it. Out of front, Dakuna's pulled away. Andrew Mickey moves himself into second. Jimmy Fisher running third right now, and Pellegrini getting uh, themselves back onto the pavement. But Akuna is going to come around to lead. It looks like he's going to lead lap one. Andrew Mickey's going to roll home from lap one in second. So these are five lap heats here. Jimmy Fisher is in third, and Nadine Pellegrini hanging on. Going to take. Their first Joker. So I'll pull that up on the screen for the time being. There's Takuna again. Pretty comfortable lead over Mickey right now. About 2.2 seconds, and the gap is growing. He's biding his time. Here comes Mickey. And Jimmy Fisher working his way, and Pellegrini's in the wall again. But we'll pull away here, and here comes Takuna for his first... Joker lap. We'll see if Mickey follows him through. He does not. What about Jimmy Fisher? Will he take it? He does indeed. So the Joker lap by first, third, and fourth in this heat. Right on board with Takuna for a little bit of a lap here. But Alonzo Morales not going to grid, and he will not uh, be participating in this event. Uh, I think he had a, some kind of internet issue drop out on him, so he, he is not in this race. So three of our four running drivers have taken their joker. You see Takuna not going to take the next one. We're, one of those guys we're going to watch is Andrew Mickey. He's not going to take it this time by either. So Takuna up to now a almost five second lead, so quite comfortable here. Mickey Hanging on, keeping the fenders on it, but running five seconds back, kind of out of contention for the time being. But Jimmy Fisher up and hard over the jump, and Aiden Pellegrini really struggling to keep that car going. This is a difficult thing, folks. This is not an easy task to get these 
heavy machines around here. Here comes Dakuna, almost around to lap meeting Pellegrini. This is going to be dangerous for Dakuna. Don't want to get yourself into trouble if you don't have to. Let's ride on board here with the 94 of Dakuna for that Sim Motorsports Subaru. White flag is in the air for Dakuna at number 94. So Andrew Mickey has also taken his Joker lap. Working his way through the far side of the course. The lead actually shrunk just a little bit because Mickey took his Joker, but still 4.2 seconds back. And there's Jimmy Fisher and Aiden Pellegrini battling, but of course Pellegrini is down a lap and Fisher is still on the lead lap. Watch out! Pellegrini is all over the place. Side-by-side -side contact. A little bit of rubbing... Rubbing and bumping there, but Fisher's going to get away. And up front, Finney and Dakuna taking that second Joker lap to the finish. And he will take home the victory in heat number one. Here comes Andrew Mickey to complete his second Joker and the victory. For, excuse me, for P2 there. And Jimmy Fisher in the number 11 going to come home with his second Joker in P3. Nadine Pellegrini is going to bail with crash damage. The first of two heats is complete. We'll get up the second half of the field gridded and ready to ro go racing here at Daytona. I mean, Fisher, not uh, not a familiar face here. He's uh, obviously a part of the Scars group in that Amsoil Fiesta, but we haven't seen him here in the Super Rallycross series for Scars, uh, at least not recently. So as the second group gets gridded up here, this group is going to include Will Salisbury, Brian Sohn, Brett Puncari, and it doesn't look like anybody else is going to grid up. So it's just going to be these three drivers. Red lights are on. And green flag is in the air here for the second heat. Only three drivers in this one. Salisbury gets out to an early jump. But Brian Sohn right there in second. He's battling Finney Dakuna, who's in the other heat for that overall championship as well as the East Series. So he's going to have to be real aggressive here to get a good starting spot for the final race. And there's Brett Funcari in the number 19, really driving hard in that Fiesta, that Clarion Fiesta there. Of course, Brian Stone in the 0-3, the Penguin RC Simulations Machine. Got to watch the inside. Here comes Puncari, but can't quite make it stick. So Salisbury jumps out to the lead. Brian Stone rolling in P2. Look at Puncari drifting through that wide corner here. And we're going to head back onto the pavement to complete lap one. So will Salisbury take his joker? No, and neither will Brian Stone or Puncari. But look at Brett making that wide drifting line. It's not really necessarily the fastest line through there, but he's really giving it all he's got. Can't fault him for that. Meanwhile, Salisbury up front, now a 1.6 second gap and making it look real tidy out here. And you know, here comes Brian Stone again. Also nice and neat and tidy. And this is what, man, look at Puncari. He's putting on a show back there in the number 19. Up and over that big bump. There's two different ways to go at this. There's how to make it a show and how to make it to the end. And it looks like Salisbury and Sonar got one strategy and Bunkari has got another. But it certainly looks spectacular. Let's ride on board with the second place car, Brian Sonar at 0 3 as he takes his first of, of his jokers here. Well, Salisbury up ahead is also joker. Where there's two jokers in both the heats and the race. Here comes Puncari right on the rear tailpipes of that 03. Almost gets in contact with them, but can't quite do it. And I'd expect this number 19 to throw a Hail Mary at some point. The way he's driving. There he goes to the inside. Can he make it stick? Nope. He's going to lose a little bit of ground on the corner exit here because Brian Stone's just putting the power down better. Meanwhile, up front, Salisbury in that 77 Subaru just driving away. Sone. Oh, here comes Pumkari to the through the Joker. He's gonna is he gonna spin it? No, he gets it back on track. He's gonna take second spot from the 0-3 of Brian Zone. An excellent move, but now he's jokered both times. He's gonna miss the jump just a little bit. Off the side, he's gonna lose that spot he gained on the 0-3 of Zone. And he's down a Joker to that Penguin RC Simulations Beetle. Salisbury was working his way towards that white flag, and Pumkari, what a great move that was, but Ended up losing it, and he's still going all out. And if Sone makes a mistake, that number 19 is there to capitalize.
Ellsbury takes his last Joker, heads into the final lap. Brian Stone Jokers as well. And Brett Kunkari back far enough that I don't think he'll be a legitimate threat to Stone unless Stone makes a mistake. Meanwhile, out in front by about 3.7 seconds, that blue, gray, and white Subaru of Salisbury is just putting on a show. Just excellent, tidy driving. A little bit of damage to the nose of that vehicle, but nothing severe. And he made that one look just as easy as Dakuna did in the last race. And you know, Kari's still in the back, smoking it up back there. Checkered flag is in the air, and Will Salisbury's going to take heat two. For that Subaru machine. So Will Salisbury wins. Brian Stone comes in second. Look out, Brian. And Brett Punkari in third. Unless my timing is actually showing... Hmm. Interesting. My time, timing was showing a penalty uh, that was applied post-race. So I'm not really sure if that's exactly how it ended up finishing. So I'll have to take a look at that. So this will be, I believe, a last chance qualifier, and indeed it is. So this is the consolation race. Just two drivers. Winner goes to the feature. Three drivers. Will Salisbury. Why is Will Salisbury in here? Green flag is in the air, and... Excuse me, folks. This has got a new... New, uh... Neat format this week, so I'm not exactly sure what's going on. I would say this is a consolation race, but Will Salisbury just won his heat. I'm not exactly sure why that's here, but... We see Nadine Pellegrini smashing into the barriers. That car looks pretty total, but they'll continue. Up front, Salisbury again driving away. So my timing shows 165 laps, which obviously isn't right. It says an hour remaining, also not right, so I'm not exactly sure where we are here. But all I can tell you is that Will Salisbury is leading Jimmy Fisher by 1.2 seconds. Fisher in that Amsoil number 11 Fiesta. We're right on board with Fisher here. Nice tidy tight lines up and over the jump. 1.5 is the gap, and it looks like Salisbury got a little touch of the barrier. You see or, uh, Fisher nosing into the wall. Salisbury really damaged that car. It doesn't look like it's driving that great. So Salisbury's going to work his way, take another Joker lap here. Keep an eye on that. Okay, so I'm going to assume this is a five-lap consolation race. Why Will Salisbury's in here just blows my mind. But Jimmy Fisher, second now, Nadine Pellegrini still out there. And hard into the barrier, Nadine Pellegrini goes. And I'd be amazed if that car drove away after that. And it doesn't look like it will. Let's get a replay of that, actually, while we're here. Nadine Pellegrini just try to get that... Car rotated, bounced a couple times, and boom, into the barriers. So Salisbury leads. Completes his second of two Joker laps. Jimmy Fisher now also taking his second Joker. Or actually, this is, this is his first Joker for Jimmy Fisher. So he got a couple tricks up his sleeve, but a 12-second gap to make up to Will Salisbury, that's not going to happen. Especially with how clean Salisbury's been driving. Uh, Sans a couple nosing into the tire barriers. He's been pretty tidy with his laps so far. I don't really expect that to change too much. Hundred and twenty plus miles an hour down into the corn the final corner once more. This should be white flag here.
And Salisbury, oh, he almost loses it there. And 13 seconds back, Jimmy Fisher still hanging on, but not really much of a chance for Fisher to go up there and get him, although he still has one joker left. Now it's 14 seconds. Nadine Pellegrini out of the race with crash damage. And Will Salisbury is going to come home and complete this and easily take this one home. Jimmy Fisher will roll home P2 and Nadine Pellegrini will DNF. All right, so that confusion out of the way. Hopefully we've got the feature race coming up here in just a second. Actually, will uh, is that not the checkers? Oh, I don't even know what's going on anymore. See, the consolation is supposed to be set to zero laps or zero minutes, and not really sure if that has messed up anything. I'm gonna just let you guys enjoy the sights and sounds here for a second, and we're gonna go figure out what's going on. Uh, yeah, the B main is two hours, so we're trying to get it to skip to the future. Yeah, it, I don't understand where that happened like that. Uh, give it an advance command again. All right, folks, welcome back to Scar's Super Rallycross here at Daytona. We have a little bit of a new challenge here this week with the introduction of custom heat formats. It looks like it did not exactly work out the way we were expecting. This is the default um, iRacing Rallycross heat structure, and with just the practice length changed through the beta UI, and it looks like it has set up a two-hour-long 168-lap B main, which is not really the intended purpose. So we're just going to try to figure this out. In the meantime, if you're watching on YouTube later, I will provide a time in the description for you to skip to. And if you're watching live, uh, just hang tight, and we'll be back with you hopefully in a little bit.
All right, welcome back, folks, to Scar Super Rally Cross. So basically, the beta UI is still really very much a beta, almost. I mean, it's almost literally just early alpha, but there was some weird glitch that was basically causing the B main to be ridiculously long, so we have bailed on it, and we're back here with just a 10-lap feature race here, and we're just finishing up the pre-race qualifier, just to kind of set the grid how it should have been. So, Dakuna right now, 42-5, leading 1.2 seconds over Andrew Mickey. So, Jimmy Fisher, Will Salisbury is here, uh, Nate Dean, Ben Walton, Brian Stone, Troy DeBono, Matthew Johnson, Kyle Vincent Gilbert. A lot of drivers here, most of these drivers, were not in the last session. So, this will be a fun race with some guys just jumping in at the last second. So, this is going to be fun to watch. All right. So, let's grid everybody up. And, wow, look at Finney and Dakuna trip, uh, just catching a tire barrier there. Qualifying is going to be finishing up here shortly. And we'll go for 10 laps around here at the Daytona International Speedway. A couple of drivers getting their last little bit of qualifying in here. Jimmy Fisher, Will Salisbury, Nate Dean, Ben Walton. All these drivers, uh, wow, look at Nate Dean flying into the, the final corner here. Ben Walton in a Fiesta. Lots of Ford Fiestas out here. So as the checkered flag falls on Daytona, we're going to get ready and finally get this feature race underway. As it should have been a little while ago. So again, in about a half an hour, we have the West Series race. Uh, and then there's a combined points championship that we're all working towards. So again, the points battle to watch is between Finney and Dakuna and Brian Sohn. As we see Ben Walton drilling a tire barrier there. Uh, Finney and Dakuna, Brian Sohn separated by one point in the East Series standings, 26 points in the overall championship. So as we get this race ready to green, just keep an eye on those two drivers. So Dakuna should lead them down to the green flag. Watching from above. Of course, Vinny Dacuna on the far right, Andrew Mickey in the middle, and that's the three of Jimmy Fisher on the far left. The zero three of Brian Stone is in the bottom right-hand side of your screen, as well as a couple other drivers. The three have not gridded yet, but we have seven that are on the track at this time. I'm going to pull the ticker back until we actually have accurate timing and scoring. Missing one in the middle there. You gotta see who gets the spot and if they'll grid. We only, we have a couple seconds left in the gridding process. Who's it gonna be in that final spot, or is it gonna be no one? We'll just have seven drivers going for ten laps around here at Daytona International Speedway on the rally cross course to decide. As we work our way into uh, the next round is our fourth of five weeks here in the Scar Super Rallycross series. So it's getting down to it, and it looks like that last spot is going to remain empty. So we're going to wait for those red lights to come on, and when they do, we'll be waiting for the green flag. One at the tail just joined there. That's Troy DeBono, the number eight. Troy DeBono, probably, is how it's pronounced. Troy DeBono. Kyle Vincent Gilbert spawns in at the last second. No, doesn't make it as the... Oh, he's kind of fading in and out there. Red lights are on and green flag is out. And they're off down towards the final corner. Oh, lots of shuffling happen here. Contact between the eight. It looks like the three of Jimmy Fisher is going to get the worst end of that deal. Contact farther back. Again, the Amsoil number three. Oh, looks like Will Salisbury gets the worst end of that. And Jimmy Fisher goes into the wall. Meanwhile, up front, Finney and Dakuna is out in front by a safe margin. Brian Stone, but again, working him over for the championship. There's Andrew Mickey also there as well. Troy DeBono made it through all that chaos in the Red Bull Volkswagen. And Ben Walton in the 22 having a pretty good showing here for his first time with the series. These two are battling side by side. 
Oh, contact between the two. Nate Dean runs over Walton and sends him into the tires. And Nate Dean violently rams that number 22, and that, that car cannot be very much fun to drive. Meanwhile, up towards the front, Andrew Mickey chasing down Brian Sohn for that second spot. Oh, wow, to the inside. Can't quite make it stick. Up front, Dakuna still comfortable lead. 2.7 seconds. And this is for the championship battle. So Ben Walton retires as well as the three of Jimmy Fisher. Couple jokers for the second and third place cars. Well, Salisbury's working his way back here just, uh, just a little bit too. And let's pull up our joker information table here. The leader and uh, the leader has not taken his choker, neither has Nate Dean, but he is retired, so it looks like he's out for the rest of the race. Finney Dakuna leads now 3.2 seconds. That gap continues to grow. Brian Sohn now defending from the number eight car of Troy Devano, uh, and the 86 of Mickey has fallen to fourth. And here comes Will Salisbury recovering from that early incident on lap one, covering nicely. even though that car is pretty severely damaged. Kuna now doesn't take a joker this time. He'll probably save save both of his for the end of the race with so much control over this. Brian Sohn now also staying out again. As well as Troy Devano. Andrew Mickey also doesn't take it yet. Neither does Will Salisbury. So these guys kind of saving their jokers towards the end of the race. The bottom four on your timing screen there on the left are out of the race. We're just looking at the top five. Kuna's lead extending last time by three seconds quicker than your second place driver, Brian Sohn. Just absolutely demolishing Sohn here. And that's going to be uh, reflected in the point standings at the end of this race if it stays how it is. Meanwhile, behind him, Mickey and Salisbury getting closer. Salisbury working over the rear bump for that blue and black Fiesta for Bombshell Motorsports. There he goes. He's going to take his joker. This is going to be his second joker, and he's going to get around Andrew Mickey in that 86, who runs a little bit wide there. So Salisbury moves to fourth. But he's used up both of his jokers now, as has the eight of Troy Dubano. Meanwhile, Dakuna is... He probably didn't even need to take him at this point. He's up seven seconds now from Brian Sohn. Last time by just about a second, and, and give or take a, uh, a tenth there, about a second quicker. Troy Dubano moved into third. And Salisbury beginning to drive away now a little bit from Andrew Mickey. We're right on board with Mickey and the gyro cam as we head towards the fifth lap. Close call with the tire barriers there for the 86 car. Kuna well in command of this race. Not a soul in sight behind him as he works his way back onto the dirt towards the far end of the track. Heading to four laps to go this time by Will Salisbury now in second. And it looks like Troy DeBono has crashed. There has been a crash. Troy DeBono is involved. Let's go take a look at it. Here he comes. That's the number eight of Troy DeBono and slow. Oh, that was Brian Sohn. Brian Sohn was involved in that as well. That's where it started. We have to go pull back and see exactly how it started. But here's Sohn. Over the jump. Doesn't quite get the rotation he needs. Slides into the tire barrier and back into oncoming traffic. And he and the 8 car collide and violently impact the wall. So Brian Sohn out of it. At least in contention. And meanwhile out up front it is all smooth sailing for Finney and Dakuna. Now that his primary adversary is out of the race with him. Up 14 seconds over Will Salisbury. He's going to take his first joker coming to three laps to go, so he's got a couple tricks up his sleeve still. Meanwhile, Salisbury's taken both, so he's got his both his hands tied. And everyone else behind Dakuna has also taken all of their available jokers, so that leaves Dakuna with a massive advantage, and it's only going to get bigger because he still has one more to go. There's not a scratch on that Subaru for Dakuna, just a flawless performance here this afternoon. It's going to be two laps to go this time by. Battle for second might heat up just a little bit. Well, no, we're not. That's not what we're looking at here. Will Salisbury, then there's Andrew Mickey a couple seconds behind. 3.4 back. Kuna comes to take two laps to go now. 
And it looks like he's going to take his final Joker coming to the white flag or on the white flag lap. Coming up on lap traffic here a little bit. That's Brian Stone. That's the championship points battle there. And if he can put him a lap down, that just seals Brian Stone's fate. Looks to the inside. Looks like Stone's going to move over let him on through. So Stone's going to have to give that up. And this is going to be a, a struggle for him at the points this week. Now, there is still a combined championship. So there, Stone trails Dakuna by 26 points. So he's really got to uh, make up for it in the West Series race here in about a half an hour. But uh, can't say it won't be done. Still a couple races to go in this championship. But Dakuna takes... The white flag for the final lap around here. And it's completed his second of two Joker laps. So it looks like everybody's Jokered. A little bit sideways there, but again, you like, you like to drive these cars sideways. They're quick that way. And working his way onto the back side of the course now, he's just got a 15-second lead. All he's got to do is bring, bring it home. And there's Will Salisbury in that 77. Not a bad showing for Salisbury in that 77 machine. Of course, Brian Stone's got to be disappointed. Uh, had a great race going and ended up having contact with the number eight of Troy Dubano. Uh, not much Dubano could have done to avoid him, especially on the dirt. But Finian Dacuna is going to bring it home here and win the E Series Rallycross race here for the Scar Super Rallycross Series. You have to look a long ways back to find Will Salisbury. Beat up, tired, but Salisbury's going to bring it home in P2. And Andrew Mickey will come home in third. A great showing for Mickey. His car clean as a whistle, as is the number 94. Great showing by him. So we're just going to jump to break real quick. We're going to bring you back a couple interviews. And we're going to head to the West Series race here in about a half an hour. So stick with us.
Welcome back, everyone, to Daytona International Speedway. We're here with your winner, Finian Dacuna. And Finian, it's uh, started to become kind of a trend here, you winning these races. But uh, today was a re really clean performance by you, and you kept it up front. Not a scratch on your vehicle. And tell me about how that race went for you. Well, it was a pretty boring race up front, but I got to say, you know, the most boring race is when you're in the lead and you're the best because, you know, you're in the lead, you have a good buffer behind you. And I was just pretty much, you know, just drive – don't make any mistakes. You have no pressure from behind. Just get the car to the finish, and that's pretty much, pretty much what I did all race. Yeah, so of course you got to be definitely happy because you saw the 0-3 of Brian Sohn get kind of caught up in an incident, and you ended up lapping him, and he right now was trailing you by one point in the point standings in the East Series and by 26 in the overall championship. So you have to be looking at that and saying that was a good good week for me. Yep, definitely, points-wise. Uh, I was also worried about Will Salisbury, who finished in second. He had a great drive. Um, I, I was worried with his pace in the earlier heats, and I thought, oh, man, he might have a chance of beating me. And uh, he got mired back in traffic, got caught up in a wreck in lap one, and then drove back. So, solid job by him, and, yeah, just happy I was able to make it out of that on top. All right, well, thanks for talking to us, Finian. Finian, of course, is one of our own here at SimTV, so always good to see him with those Sim Motorsports colors in victory lane. So, Finian, I'm going to send you back to the waiting room. We're going to grab well, the man you were just talking about, Will Salisbury. Thanks for talking with us. All right, there's Will Salisbury, the driver of the number 77 Subaru. And, Will, you had one heck of a race. Tell me a little bit about what happened there on the opening lap and how you managed to work your way through the field to finish second. Yeah, it was a fun race. So starting in the second row there um, was a little interesting. I got a great start on the outside and kind of rode the grass. It's it's so difficult to see on the inside with these cars. So uh, we went three wide in that first corner, and I was kind of hung out on the outside. And um, I was either going to get a great jump coming out of that corner um, or it was going to end in disaster, and we were all going to funnel down into the, to the jump and got caught up in that, which kind of figured would happen. Um, but uh, I ended up getting a penalty also because I spun it around, kept it going, and I had to miss the jump. There was no way I was going to make that in the first lap. So I got a two-second slowdown um, on top of everything. But um, just kind of from there, uh, I think it was an eighth at the end of the first lap. Just put my head down and just drove the thing and uh, just picked off guys, you know, once uh, every lap. And a couple guys had, were spinning out left and right, so it was fairly easy to, to work my way up the field. But... Uh, we I had a pace in the car the whole night um, throughout the heats and just had some mis misfortune throughout throughout those. But I knew that I could, had I been able to get up to uh, Finney and I probably could have gave him a, a good run. Uh, I don't know what he what kind of times he was running, but uh, these cars are so much fun to drive. It's just all about being consistent and hitting your marks every single lap. And um, uh, it's so easy to get them crossed up and and. Uh, get into a tire barrier. I saw a couple guys doing that and, uh, I, you know, made my dents in it along the way, but it was a fun race. And, uh, just kind of at the end there, I knew Andrew was going to be good. I took the Joker and wanted to see if I could stretch out my lead in front of him. I didn't really want to try and pass him on track. I think the Joker is the, just the easiest way to get around someone and kind of put some distance in between them, but it ended up working out pretty well. And I'm very, very happy with coming home in P2. Well, it was excellent performance from you, Will, and congratulations on that second place finish, and thanks for coming out tonight. Oh, thank you, guys. Appreciate it. All right, well, have a good night. You as well. All right, folks, so that is going to wrap up our interviews here. Now, because of the delay we experienced earlier, I'm not really sure exactly what the plan is for the West Series race or whether or not we will even have it. So if we will, it'll be online shortly in about 25 minutes so be with us for that. If it doesn't go up, well, thanks for watching here on SimTV this week. And thanks for being here. And please leave that a like if you enjoyed our broadcast. And subscribe if you're not. We're getting close to 100 subscribers. Not a big number, but we're a new group just starting up. So that every little bit helps. So thanks a lot. And thanks for watching SimTV.